Hi, and welcome to Artly Wine. Today, we'll try three different Pinot Noirs from three different American viticultural areas. Two of these wines are from the 2018 vintage. One of them is from the 2017 vintage. Hopefully, the fact that this one is from 2017 will not skew our tasting too much. Price-wise, uh, they're in the $17 to $20 range. Uh, so I'm guessing they will be quite simple. If you want more complex Pinot Noir, uh, you need to pay more than $40 per bottle. From a wine standpoint, uh, usually Pinot Noir is light to medium bodied because he has low to medium tannins, medium alcohol, and medium to high acidity. The flavors really depend on how the wine is made and where are the grapes from. For instance, in California, usually the wines are more fruity with some flavor of, of strawberry, cherry, some wood notes, whereas in France, it typically has a more earthy, leathery, spicy, mushroomy profile. Good Pinot Noir is uh, usually produced in cool regions. In California, for instance, uh, Carneros and Santa Barbara are pretty famous for good Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, so cool climate grapes. Uh, even if they are inland, uh, they are benefiting from a cooling effect from the Pacific Ocean. Sonoma, and especially Sonoma Coast due to its proximity to the ocean, is also well known for Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Uh, in California, you can find both style of Pinot Noir, uh, both really fruity ones, or some ones who are more complex and more hurly, like closer to the French style. Outside of California, another really good region for Pinot Noir in the United States is Oregon, especially in the Willamette Valley, below Portland. Oregon uh, is a pretty small wine region, so the entire region is, is about uh, half the size of Napa from a vine production, a vine and a wine production standpoint. But it lies at the same latitude as uh, Burgundy, and therefore uh, its production is mostly dedicated to Pinot Noir. It's about 75% of all Oregon wine production. So let's check what we have here. So we, the first one will be from Sonoma Coast, California. The second one will be from Santa Barbara County, California. And the third one from Willamette Valley, Oregon. So we can have like three kind of different region and different style uh, for cool climate Pinot Noir. So our uh, first one here is from La Crema, uh, Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir, uh, 2017 vintage. The price is about $17, so it's the cheapest of our three wines here. The other two are about $20. So let's let's check it out. So uh, 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 the appearance, it, it's, a, it's a pale color, uh, which is expected for Pinot Noir. It's, uh, it's ruby and uh, it's pale and, and light intensity. So on the nose, it's, uh, it's not very pronounced, I would say medium minus uh, flavor intensity. It's on, on the lighter side, but it, it's a Pinot Noir, which is uh, usually light and delicate. And you have uh, aromas very uh, strawberry. So on the berry side, it, yeah, it's a very strawberry, and you have a hint of, of wood uh, wood in the end, and you can smell a little bit of, of, tannin, of tannins as well. On the, the palate, we have a quite high of acidity, which uh, Pinot Noir is, is famous for. So I would say medium, uh, medium, medium plus acidity, pretty low tannin, uh, medium alcohol, uh, which is often the case for, for Pinot Noir. It's, uh, as it's delicate, you need to try not to overpower it uh, with, with alcohol. And the flavor are, are quite the same as, as you, can, you can smell. So you find you yeah, have the same uh, strawberry uh, flavor, very strawberry. And then on the, on the finish, you, you get a you get some some wood, some 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 cedar. The the finish is not uh, is not short, so it's a it's a different finish. 
So. So overall, uh, La Crema is uh, what you would expect from uh, an entry-level Pinot Noir. It's, uh, it's pretty light, uh, high acidity, medium alcohol, has a, has a decent finish, very fruit flavor, and you can tell it's a, it's a California Pinot Noir. It's very fruit flavor, uh, even if you have a hint of other uh, aromas and flavor like, like cedar, but it's very fruit forward and almost single, single-handedly strawberry. So it's a good wine, but uh, it's, a, it's a little simple. The second bottle is from Obon Clima in Santa Barbara County. It's a 2018 vintage. Obon Clima is a very uh, well-known winery, and this one is their entry-level Pinot Noir. So let's check it out. So uh, the nose is uh, completely different than, than the La Crema. So from, if we go back from a color perspective, they all have kind of the, the same color. So maybe I, I will skip uh, going forward. It's a very light color, pale intensity and uh, on the garnet side. On the nose, uh, the nose is not very pronounced. So I would say uh, medium, medium minus intensity on the nose. But you have a way more complexity than 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 this one here. This one is more cherry than strawberry. And it has some uh, smokiness to it, some cedar, and and I get some candy candy on on the nose. So more more complex, uh, more complex aroma. On the palate, it's a, it's a, it's very smooth. So uh, we have again a low tannin. Acidity is probably medium, medium plus. So yeah, low tannin, medium acidity, medium alcohol. It's uh, it's really balanced, and and the flavor is quite the same as uh, on the nose. So you have some uh, strawberry flavors. I get this candy, candy type um, taste uh, in mid palate and, and on the finish. Don't really have the or feel the tannins and not a little bit yeah, on the finish now. I can I can feel some uh, some earthiness and some um, some earthiness and and some 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 wood. And the finish is, is decent. It's uh, again a medium, medium minus uh, finish. So first you're you're yeah you're you get the the cherry. It's very cherry forward, and then you get you start to get this complexity on on meat palate and and on the finish. So overall, it's a really balanced wine. Uh, pretty good. Uh, you you need to like fruit forward Pinot Noir. It's really fruit forward, very cherryish. But then you get more, way more complexity, mid palate, and on the finish uh, than this one. This one just gives you a hint of cedar. This one gives you so, some more. You, you get some hardiness, uh, more wood, and and this candy type uh, flavor. So a, a bigger palette of, of flavors and, and aromas. And so again, it's it's a good wine and overall very fruity. But I, I like it better than than this one. So the, the third wine here is uh, from Argyle in the Willamette Valley, and it's a 2018 vintage. Uh, Argyle has also a reserve Pinot Noir, if you want to try more uh, Oregon Pinot Noir, which is not that common. Uh, there are reserve Pinot Noir sales at $30, whereas this one is $20. If you're interested in Oregon Pinot Noir, you can also try some French producer there. For instance, Domaine Drouin. Uh, Drouin is a very famous French Burgundy house. I uh, started a winery there. And so you could try their Oregon Pinot Noir, which sell in the range of $25 to $45. And even compare these Oregon Pinot Noir from a French winemaker 
uh, against their French Pinot Noirs. So let's try these Argal $21, $20, so they're, they're entry level entry level wine. So again, uh, the color is pale intensity garnet, uh, garnet color. The nose is quite different than the other two. It's uh, less fruity, I would say, than uh, the other two. So this one uh, on the nose, it's uh, it's closer to to a uh, to a French style. It's you get more earthiness, uh, maybe more tannins. The aroma are still quite uh, light intensity. Uh, I think you get yeah strawberry and some earthiness. Oh, wow. So this one is uh, way more acidic than the other two. So I would say the acidity is medium plus. It also has more, more tannin. Uh, the medium tannins where the other ones were uh, low tannins. And uh, medium, medium plus alcohol. I am, the, the alcohol feels a, a little more pronounced. So from a body perspective, this more is closer to a medium bodied medium budded uh, Pinot Noir, whereas the other ones, the other two are, are more on the, the lighter side. Yeah, this one is way less fruity than the other one. So you, you get some fruit uh, in the attack, uh, mostly strawberry, but very quickly you move to more hearthy and, and, and wood, woody notes. And, and, the, and the finish is uh, very tannic, so you, you, you get the tannins on the finish. I would say overall it's maybe a shorter finish uh, than uh, Au Bon Climat, but way, way different character. So yeah, different region, you, you, you're kind of moving away from the fruitiness of, uh, of California. So yeah, it's more more character, less fruitiness, so you're, you're more on the a French style. Um, the tannin uh, doesn't bother too much. They're, they're quite soft. You, you can feel them in the finish, but they're they're still quite soft. But I can feel the heat from 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 the alcohol after after two sips. And I think that's uh, what's kind of bothering me a little bit in this one. So overall, it's it's a good it's a good wine. Uh, different flavor profile, still quite simple with um, a, a medium finish and. And kind of single notes. First, you get the strawberry, then you get this wood tone, and then you get kind of the tannins on the finish. So it's not a multitude of, of flavors, but uh, it's it's a good wine. Um, which yeah, uh, and it's uh, uh, the alcohol. It's kind of creating a, a wine that is way less smooth than than this one, for instance. So if I kind of to compare like the three. Uh, even if Au Bon Climat is kind of uh, really fruity, we're very cherry and doesn't really appeal to my like French palate, it's it's my favorite because it's really balanced and, and it's really smooth. This one I think uh, is it's it's close to this one, very different profile again. Your more hardiness, more wood tones, so which appeal to me. But unfortunately, the fact that yeah, the alcohol and the finish is is on the short side, but you get a lot of tannins, and then the the alcohol is very dominant in the, in the finish. It kind of doesn't cut it for me. And the third one is uh, would classify as uh, La Crema because uh, you get that yeah, it's very monotone. You get strawberry, it's simple flavors, and and that's pretty much it. So very very fruity uh, Pinot Noir. That's it for. Uh, this uh, three Pinot Noir tasting. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't hesitate to let me know what your favorite Pinot Noir is, what your favorite Pinot Noir producer, Pinot Noir region is. Are you more uh, an American Pinot Noir or a uh, French Pinot Noir? In a future video, I will try uh, Au Bon Climat, which is my winner here, against French Pinot Noir and New Zealand Pinot Noir in the same price range. As usual, you can uh, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment, 
If you're interested in learning more about wine, uh, if you're interested in wine tasting classes or building a wine collection, you can refer to my Facebook page, Early Wine. To conclude, enjoy your wines, but drink responsibly. Cheers!